Thank you very much for inviting me to provide a message to such a, um, to this webinar to present such a relevant and timely manifesto that you, you produced uh, recently. From our perspective, from the perspective of UIA, the predominance, the importance of the solidarity economy and the social innovation can be seen at different levels. We can see that cities are more and more testing and experimenting kind of variable geometry of, uh, of partnership in the way of delivering uh, their, 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 their ideas and their solution. So here we are moving to a process of co-design, to a process of co-implementation. And of course, uh, this is also uh, quite innovative for cities because probably uh, cities have been used to, to test such uh, uh, delivery models with more traditional type of actors like university, chamber of commerce, but now that they are doing it with NGOs, with uh, cooperative models, with uh, social innovators. Of course, they, this is a total new uh, field where they have to, to define the right uh, mechanisms, the right vehicles to keep them together and keep working while the city sometimes is taking a step back and playing more a role of ecosystem manager rather than main service provider. So this is another very interesting trend that we can see when solidarity uh, economy uh, actors are involved in UIA project, they are innovating not only in the type of services that they are trying to deliver, but also in the relation that they are establishing with the, um, the, UI, the UI projects and the, 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 the urban authorities. So if I look, let's say, at the three uh, objectives, which are also the three strands of activity of the uh, urban, urban agenda and applying to this conversation that we are having today, I think that if we start from the better policy type of strand, what we need to, to find, what, what the, the policymakers need to work on is to better define exactly such a legal mechanism that may uh, facilitate this relation between urban authorities, solidarity actors and community in order to have this generative model of welfare states. Uh, here there are already, I don't think that we have to reinvent the wheel, there are already a number of uh, mechanisms that are existing that probably need to be further analyzed and elaborated. Here I'm referring for example to the experience that in Italy we had uh, regarding the common goods legislation in Torino, Bologna or Napoli, but also to some uh, reflection that is now going on uh, within the framework of the public procurement for innovation with this idea of the public community partnership that might be already possible within the, 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 the public procurement for innovation type of um, legislation or um, reinforcing uh, some experience like the CLLD, uh, the urban CLLD uh, that for example have been uh, tested uh, quite successfully in Lisbon with the BIP zip uh, experience. So I think that th there are already some tools, there are already some mechanisms to frame such a relation, but we have to work a bit more in order to make them much more accessible and even probably more recognize, recognizable to, uh, to urban authorities and community in order for them to be used more and more. Uh, that's the first part. I think then it's a kind of, let's say, uh, interlinked uh, reflection on the better financing. If we are able to define which is the delivery mechanism for cities and solidarity economy to implement their ideas, I think it would be much easier also for such new partnership to attract uh, EU funding. For time being, and we see it sometime also at UA, it's quite difficult to uh, reach directly with the financial aid, the financial flow, uh, actors that are not from the, let's say, public sphere, from the, from the public uh, uh, context. So I think that once the, 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 the legal uh, mechanism has been better defined, it would be much easier also to um, uh, channel the, the EU resources that are available. And by the way, there will be more and more uh, available in the, in the future for this specific type of issue uh, to, toward these new mechanisms. Regarding better, the better knowledge, I think this is something that, of course, as you can understand, uh, it's uh, very much important from our point of view, because in UAE, as you probably know, we have 
the, the, the second main uh, strategic objective is to capture the knowledge that U.S. cities are generating to inspire other cities in Europe. So I think that this is one field where definitely uh, the, 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 the type of networking activities, the capacity building activities, the capitalization type of activities can be extremely helpful. Uh, and I'm sure that there will be a lot of cities in Europe that will be looking forward to be inspired uh, by this type of practices.